Some bug fights are one-sided. But in others, it's might versus might. As two evenly matched prize fighters slug it out, there can be only one. When a green praying mantis encounters a ferocious predatory katydid, the judge's verdict is final. The green praying mantis is a heavyweight fighter who's perfected the art of taking its opponents by surprise. The mantis is like the biological equivalent of a stealth fighter plane. The color of the body, the flat triangular shape, everything about it has evolved to make this animal extremely difficult to spot. When those huge compound eyes with their 300 degree field of vision lock onto a target, the mantis will attack. Even foes like this dangerous lynx spider. The green praying mantis is quite confident to take on creatures other bugs will do anything to avoid. The lynx spider spits lethal toxins made by venom glands in its head. Both these animals are well aware of each other's presence, and they're both very, very fast. The lynx spider makes a break. But it's caught and impaled on razor-sharp spikes. As a fighter, the mantis relies not on venom, but savagely sharp body parts. Inside each one of its front two raptorial legs is a vertical row of lethal curved spines. These legs are like a cross between a mace and a grappling hook. They grab, snag, pierce, and pin the prey down all at the same time. Barely pausing, the mantis eats through the lynx spider's legs, then its body, then its venomous head. Eating the lynx spider venom glands won't have any ill effect on the mantis. If the venom was injected, that would be different, but for the glands to pass through the digestive system, no problems at all. As a prize fighter, the green praying mantis appears invincible. Though in nature, that's never a given. There's another prize fighting heavyweight in this forest. The ferocious predatory Katie did. And it's evenly matched with the mantis in almost every way. It looks like a leaf. It looks like this innocent leaf-like structure, but it is an incredibly dangerous predator. Just as the green mantis blends in with the grass, the katydid, with its veined wings, hides among leaves. And like the mantis, the Katie did comes equipped with sharp grappling spikes, not just on two legs, but on the front four. And up at the head, everything, including the mouth parts, are supersized. These katydids have massive heads to provide plenty of space for these large mandibles and the muscles that control the mandibles. Those mandibles are like Swiss army knives. They lever and cut and fork in victims' body parts. The back legs are just as powerful.
when they kick in, launch time becomes lunch time. It locks it up in its very strong, spiny arms, and then its mandibles just tear into it. In a pre-fight weigh-in, the Katie did is just as big as the mantis, just as strong, and is equally fast. Two heavyweights, evenly matched. And when they throw down, it will be a championship fight to the death. Next, facing off in the rainforest. Then, razor spines versus silken steel. And later, a stealthy killer stalks its victim. In a grassy arena, the two prize fighters enter the ring. Round one. In the green corner, the Katie did sizes up its opponent with its long range feelers. In the other green corner, the Mantis has its guard up, ready to strike. The Mantis throws a lightning-fast right jab. The Katie did ducks for cover. You have to give the Mantis points for bravery. He's just so fearless, but I think he may have bitten off more than he can chew here. Round two. The Mantis comes out swinging. The Katie did finds its range with its antennae. The Katie did locks the mantis in a raptorial cage and delivers a killer bite to the mantis's eye. It's a cut no corner can repair. Already, it's damaged the head, it's damaged the antenna, it's damaged multiple parts of the body. There will be no round three. In an even matchup, sheer ferocity tips the scales. It just goes to show that no matter how capable a fighter any particular animal may be, there's always something else out there that can tip the world upside down. Step into the ring with a ferocious predatory Katie did, and there's no such thing as a knockout. The loser never gets up. <laughs> 